Okay, this is the uh, Plastercraft um, gauze that I used to make my bathrooms with. If I can get it opened up. It comes out in six inch wide strips. That's how it starts out. Anyway, uh, usually I cut them about six inches, according to what you're making. Of course, it ain't, good, it ain't doing exactly like I planned. <laughs> but anyway, get the gist of it. We'll cut a few and show you how I basically do my backings. You want to have this pre cut before you get ready to make your mold anyway. I'm just kind of showing you how it comes out of the package. You cut it different lengths or widths. You cut it that wide. Anyway, all right. You want to use water. Have you a brush. A good pair of scissors. A level if you're putting legs on. Paper towels, toilet paper, extra plaster if you want to beef it up, squirt ball. All right. Now this is not a rubber mold, but this is basically how I do it. All right. Take and fold it. Like if he's gonna make a section. Lay it down. Tap it in. Right. I'll say that's a section of your mold right there. All right, that's the first layer. Now then, what I like to call, you roll it up like cigar, paper or whatever. Um, this gives you edge real stout. This is part of your second layer. Anyway, you would continue all the way across there. All right. This is still part of your second layer. Kind of overlap that little cigar part and then go back in, fill in. Okay, you'd put another piece right there where it was thin, right in there. Now, then you'd come back with your third layer. Now that's basically how thick I do most of my pieces. Right. Now you can add plaster to it to make it more stouter. If you want to. Just get it wet and just really spread that out. Okay, that would be one good set. Now, if you go to put legs on there, you do it all at one time. I won't show you how to put the legs on right now. But that's one basic layer for your backing. Now, in about 20 minutes, you could probably pull that off. Now, what I didn't show you was how do you keep it from sticking. Now, a lot of people worried about your plaster sticking your rubber. Well, this is what you do. You put toilet paper or paper towels down underneath before you put the plaster on. I, I got ahead myself. It's pretty easy. Just work that down right there. And just 
plaster over that, or you can use toilet paper. I mean, paper towels, sorry. Which is, uh, it's stouter. It works better, really, than toilet paper. You can't use one ply, you can't use two ply on toilet paper. Anyway, now look. See how I come over this piece of plaster? And you can go right back over and make another section right over that. All right, thank you.